Okay, we continue the news broadcast here <coughs> from Nablus, occupied Palestine. <coughs> Now, the Palestinian Prisoner Society Tuesday revealed testimonies presented by two detainees about being subjected to brutal torture at the hands of the occupation, apartheid Israel occupation force prior to their detention, subsequently to their detention, I presume. The uh, Palestine Prisoner Society revealed painful experiences of torture that both Hamza al-Masri and Atef al-Kar underwent prior, uh, subsequent to their detention. Al-Masri, 23, who comes from Bethlehem district, informed uh, a PPS attorney who visited him in the Al-Maskubia detention center and interrogation center, that despite informing soldiers about suffering from a skull fracture prior to his detention, soldiers deliberately slammed him with the military jeep's door, forcing him to sit on the floor of the jeep and drop a large heavy box of bullets on his left leg, causing him uh, a simple brain concussion and bruises across his left leg. Meanwhile, Elkar, 20, who comes from Bethlehem town of Beit Fajar, said that he was beaten up, thrown to the ground, and stripped naked reportedly to undergo a body search. According to Betzlem, the Israel Information Center for Human Rights in the Occupied Territories under Apartheid Israel Occupation and uh, Apartheid Israel Authority Sovereignty, quote, Israel law, like international law, allows security forces to use reasonable force in self-defense and for duty-related purposes such as dispersing riders, arresting suspects, resisting arrest, and preventing a detainee from fleeing. However, it noted that the law does not allow beatings, degradation, or ill treatment of persons who are not riding, resisting arrest, or fleeing. Quote, the acts described in testimonies given to Betzlem and to other human rights organizations deviate greatly from what the law allows, and they constitute flagrant violations of human rights. Apartheid Israel Occupation Force Tuesday demolished a number of Palestinian residential structures in Kirbet al faket uh, one of the 19 small localities comprising at Tuwani and Musafar Yata villages south of Hebron al-Kalim, said a local activist. Wafa, Palestinian news agency, reported on Rati Bal Jabur, who monitors settlement construction in southern Hebron, as saying that the apartheid Israel occupation force, uh, accompanied by bulldozers, stormed Kirbet al Fekit locality before proceeding to demolish two rooms and a tent belonging to Samir al Hamamda. Al Jabir added, but as a result of the demolition, a 10-member family became homeless. This was the second demolition carried out by Israeli forces at the El Tawani and Musafur Yata villages on Tuesday. <sighs> Earlier, a part of Israel occupation forces demolished four residential structures and seized EU European Union funded solar panels from the Musafar Yatas localities of Janba and Al Halawa, displacing over 20 members of Abu Iram's family. Those are the latest news uh, reports here from Occupied Palestine. And no doubt there will be much more to report tomorrow. I will continue to make the reports every evening as well as I can. At uh, around uh, 9 o'clock, I will begin the reports, and they will be transmitted uh, on this channel of the Alliance of Concerned Jewish Canadians, and will be archived at the address indicated on Facebook, and will be accessible 
to all those who need to know what is actually going on here. There are some moves to bring about uh, the implementation of the reconciliation agreement between the Fatah ruling government here in the Palestine Authority of the West Bank, together with the Hamas-led uh, government in the Gaza Strip, so allowing for the elections that are scheduled to take place as soon as possible. This will provide a, an indication of uh, where the Palestinian uh, political culture sees itself going, alongside of the election, the anticipated elections that are to take place within the Zionist State of Israel. Subsequent to the uh, anticipated uh, fall of the Netanyahu government, which no longer has even a slim one-seat majority anymore, since the minister, Sylvain Shalom, uh, resigned due to uh, his uh, multiple sex scandals, actually rape scandals. So there are uh, uh, reasons uh, to believe that uh, there are changes to take place here in both uh, political cultures, alongside of the general malaise and uh, uh, depression and uh, uh, and, and lack of hope in any change at all. However, such a period is certainly conducive to creating the necessary changes in the anticipated future because uh, there is no expectation of any change within the present parameters. Therefore, the parameters must change. And it would seem that they will be and that they must be. So, we will continue the reports as is and uh, we ask you to uh, announce uh, that these reports have taken place, announce that the archives are available of the, uh, this report and the previous report, and ask you to uh, circulate the, the announcements of the reports as they take place. Okay, thanking you for your attention, and uh, I'm signing off now from Nablus, Occupied Palestine, here. Thank you very much for paying attention.